From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha De Aon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of our fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. This one is then. How far? Barani? Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. He's a Dokulfar. <laughs> no surprise there. I've seen a lot of them. Though not usually in this good a shape. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
They're all over. Run! <coughs> Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! <sighs> <coughs> Come along. I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Let me get this door. Right this way. Uh, you go first. invention, the Well of Souls. Imagine an end to all, an end to death. Hear something? Oh, 
up ahead. Let's shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. <laughs> what are you?
discovered the tunnel. Maybe you can use... Staff to burn a path through. <laughs> Not more spiders, burn them, burn them. <laughs> <laughs> Them. It's so. Get a life! And who is this? That's what I intend. Uh. Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. He's directly ahead, in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. through the Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the well of souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... <laughs> Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should... 
shall proceed. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. That inside the bow. <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Ugh. <laughs> 